We have a question from Alex. Alex asks, I was wondering if you could go into more detail about what you put in your journal. Well, Alex, that is something that just goes a, a big gamut. Um, you know, for years, uh, I, I use mine. At, uh, I keep my workouts now on uh, danjohnuniversity.com. Uh, I'm not very, I don't, I kind of go uh, rise and fall with specificity in my journals. I sometimes are very, very, uh, I go back when I was with Dick Notmeyer, I had every warm up, uh, the bar, 65 pounds, 85 pounds. I, I mean, just all the way up. Uh, I have written, uh, my, what my food in them. I have included things like sleep. Uh, I often will include little things about what's affecting my life. And I have noticed that, um, I, I have not been real good about that uh, lately. I do keep a separate personal uh, journal. And I don't write in that as much as I should, uh, you know, talk about things going on in the world, my grandchildren, my children, my dog, you know, you know, just, you know, stuff that comes up, you know, when we had that big storm, everything got destroyed. Um, he, he, he asked some follow-ups so that I really wanted to get into. What details did you find the most insightful looking back? Um, Actually, when I rant about uh, why wasn't I doing this before, so I'll, I'll, you know, 20 years later, I'll go back and I'll see that I was already doing this thing that was actually kind of smart, and uh, I stopped doing it. One of the things I keep picking up uh, over and over is that uh, I've made my best progress historically lifting three days a week, but the other four days a week have to be sports specific. That, now, that's the problem with being, uh, right now, I'm kind of focused on the Olympic lifts. So even if I'm Olympic lifting, that's, you know, if I Olympic lift as a weight workout, but it's also my sport. So I got to, I got to be careful there, but I've looked in things and I've known I had a problem with, like, for example, shellfish, uh, I'm allergic to lobster and crab. I know that. So let's put that over here, but I've had issues with milk and weed since it shows up over and over about how I, I get kind of skin issues with both of those. Um, I'll do little experiments that fail miserably. And sometimes 10, 15 years later, I'll look at them. It wasn't, it wasn't a failure. You just needed to give more time. I used to fast before I worked out and I couldn't make it work. And of course now it's just what I do, but it, you know, it just kind of sometimes takes a while to, you know, just get things, uh, together. Um, anytime I, bullet point anything one two three four five these these things work and you ask about this um so really it's the it's the conversations the, the frustrated conversations that i get the most out of uh what details would you have uh been nice to log in hindsight oh yeah the, the, i mean i do wish i had a more personal journal uh, from like high school, maybe yeah, just so I could look back and it'd be interesting. Cause you know, when you look at the names, you wouldn't even know who they are. Anymore. Yeah. Last night I did this thing with this person, that person, and I, I couldn't even tell you who they were probably now, but it's nice to have it written down. Uh, when the girls were little, I wish I would have kept, you know, more things about their growth and, and uh, their, their new discoveries. But, you know, um, I did, I did keep some of that down and, one of my favorite things is my annual on my daughter Kelly's birthday. I, I always have this moment in my journal. Where I can't believe she's turning two, 10, 21, 30. It's fascinating to see it. And, you know, next year will happen again. So uh, those, those, these, this, I like these questions. Uh, what other sections like the things I know section you included? Uh, one thing I used to do a lot better is I would type things up cut it and then tape it into the journals. Um, see if I have any real quick to show you. Well, this is the one I showed the other day and that, this is the one that was just on top, but, uh, this is from December, 2000 things. I know it's interesting because, uh, uh, number four, power snatch, power clean, push jerk, front squat, snatch, deadlift, one arm press and overhead squats. Those seem to be the exercises that work best for me. Uh, here is, uh, this is something I did for a while that was really a good idea. Every day I would weigh in and every day I would measure my waistline. 
um, very often, uh, yeah, I mean, there might, there might be, there might be, yeah, here's, here's a good example. Um, I, I would type up something and then that would cut and I'd paste it in there. Uh, this is me winning the, um, the, the Murray Highland, the Murray City Highland Games here. And I won it, uh, on, on a, I was the only person able to turn the big caber, you know, so that was kind of cool. So yeah, um, I keep pictures in there. Uh, some of my older journals, I don't know why this one doesn't, I'll have little, my daughter's little, little kid pictures in there. And it's kind of fun to go back and go, Oh, yeah. And, uh, maybe I should start doing that again with, you know, getting pictures of Leo, Danny and Joe. Hey Alex, this is a great question. Thank you. It, it really kind of made my day. Thank you. 